Would you accept this dress and be my date tonight? What kind of mixed feelings did I get with the poor guy? I know you didn't want to be my date tonight, but want to dance with me? Explain things, Gabriella! Explain them! Hey, I need to tell you something. Hey, the paparazzi want us outside for a press interview. We've got to go now! You play love interest in the movie! Are you falling in love in real life? Every time I think you might like me back, Coco's there. And are you with Coco or not? Well, let's just say we've been getting close. To another episode of Hollywood Days with Hayes. If you haven't seen all the other episodes, they're in a playlist and you can go check them all out. If you're not following me on Twitter, you should be for Kids Gaming and Gabriella Scory. You can also follow me on Snapchat. All right, let's get back into this because Hayes was all, you should go to the charity event thing. I was like, well, maybe I will. And then so now we're going and it's a disaster. Hey guys. What's up, Gabriella? I was just about to show Tez and Venice the skate park. If that's where she gets her dope design ideas, I gotta see this spot. Wanna come with? I can't. I gotta get ready. For what? Well, Hazer told me to come to this red carpet event tonight. OMG. Right on, Gabriella. Yeah, hold that thought though. We're not together. It's a work thing. AKA, everyone from the movie will be there. AKA, Coco. Mm-hmm. Well, what are you gonna wear? I hadn't thought about it yet. Something from my closet. Maybe I'll go shopping. It's something from my closet. Like, I'm not about to go shopping for stuff. Probably just something from my closet. Taz, change the plans. You know what sounds better than a skate park? Shopping. Uh, they made me buy something for diamonds. I have to have something. I mean, I'm going to like, a red carpet event. Ugh. O-M-G. Are you all right? If you're ever shopping with Mia and she suddenly sounds like she's having a coronary, that means she's found something good. Something good is a severe understatement. This is the most gorgeous dress I've ever seen. You have to try it on. I can try it on, it's gonna be so cute, and it's gonna be diamond. So don't, but this is my face. No excitement whatsoever. Mm hmm. Okay, Gabriella, you know I don't take fashion lightly. So you know I'm not lying when I say you've never looked this stunning. Yo, a picking out girls' clothing isn't really my thing, but Mia's right. You look so dope, Gabriella. Ugh. Wait, it's two hundred dollars. Oh no, I didn't even look at the tag. I just picked it up and fell in love. We've all been there, girl. I definitely can't buy this dress. Well, let's go on another store and keep looking for one. I'm just gonna find something at home. This night isn't that big of a deal anyway. What is the point of all this? What is happening? If they got it for me as a surprise and that's what it costs diamonds, that's gonna even matter. What, what was the, was the doorbell supposed to have wrong or something? What was that? I have a delivery. Um, I think you have the wrong house. From Hayes Giriu, from a Miss Gabriella? OMG! Mr. Greer wanted you to have a certain dress you fell in love with earlier. He sent it as a note as well. Oh. Hayes, I don't want to just see you there. Will you accept this dress and be my date tonight? Are you kidding me? This isn't even worse! He's trying to reach out to me as an olive branch and I'm going to decline his invite to go? Like, I just made a big deal about the fact that Sissy Diamonds, I just made a big deal about the fact that I was jealous about him and Coco and then he asked me out on a date and I'm gonna say no. What kind of mixed feelings does I get with the poor guy? Thanks for bringing it, but it's just too expensive. I can't accept it. This dress is blah, 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 blah. I see. I'll let Mr. Greer. O-M-G. I am, look at this face. I have never been more upset. Oh, that looks cute though. But still. Ugh. Oh, yeah. He wanted me to be his date! Uh, I'm so mad. Uh, who's that? Why are they laughing at me? Got my favorite food. Cupcakes? 
Well, they're one of my favorite foods. I'm also pretty obsessed with tacos and burritos and pizza. Pizza deserves its own food group. You eat such teenage boy foods. Anything else in there you want to add? No, pizza deserves its own food group. I think pizza deserves its own food group. Whoever created that little pyramid really messed up there. We should write them a letter and tell them what's really good. <gasps> I have a pretty weird thing for cupcakes myself. Uh, should I be afraid? There's a cupcake shop at home that specializes in the strangest flavors. I made a resolution to try every single one of them by next year. Like what? Just things that aren't meant to be together, like sauerkraut cupcakes. Ew! Okay, ew. Or salmon cupcakes. I just threw up in my mouth a little. Meatloaf and mashed potato cupcakes. Gabriella. In my defense, that was on a dare. I just always go for vanilla. Vanilla? Hey, it's Greer. Your favorite flavor is vanilla? Just wait. You've got your weird cupcake things, and I've got one too. And it just so happens to make even a vanilla cupcake exciting. I'll believe it when I see it. Here, you get one too. I'm trying this mango chili one. All right, step one, cut off the top part of the cupcake. If this ruins my cupcake, trust me. Plus, Gabriella, that cupcake's already past the point of no return. <gasps> Aww, step two, take the bottom half of the cupcake and smash it on top of the icing. Cupcake sandwich, try it. <gasps> Whoa, da da da, not bad. I like your moves, right? I don't know why, but for some reason, it just tastes better. It kind of does, but I'm not still sold. You got vanilla. Would you at least try mine? A mango chili cupcake? I mean, that just actually doesn't sound that bad. You know what? Couldn't hurt. I'll try it. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's actually not terrible. Really? I thought this one was pretty disgusting. <laughs> I know you didn't want to be my date tonight, but want to dance with me? I'd love to. Something. Hey, the paparazzi want us outside for a press interview. We've got to go now. Gabriella, I'm so sorry. Do you mind? Hey, come on. Hey, literally, this is the second time I've tried to tell him. I saw you dancing with Hayes. You two looked really cute. Just saying. I don't know. I can't tell what's happening with us yet. Well, I'm rooting for you. Oh, thanks, Tina. I guess that was Tina earlier. We have to wait on the dance floor. What is happening? <gasps> oh no, are they like kissed for real this time? You play love interest in the movie. Are you falling in love in real life? <laughs> well, let's just say we've been getting close. No, she's cool, but she's just using me for the press. Gabriella, I like you. I thought I made that pretty clear at the Hollywood sign. <laughs> You're the one I want, not someone who's using me to get ahead. You have to tell about the fanfic. Yeah, what an unread message from Lydia Jacobs. Saw you in pics at the event. Are you getting lots of inside scoop on Hayes? Gonna make for great fanfic material. Can't wait to see the next chapter. <laughs> She is? No! Ah! Oh my goodness! Guys, why is Gabrielle gonna tell him? I literally feel like she's just never gonna tell him and then he's gonna find out because like the, the press person is just gonna like release it without her information or re release all her information without telling her and I just, this is just too much for me to handle. So we're gonna take a break obviously because it's the end of the episode but give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe so you do not miss a thing and get some more drama to hold you over until the next episode. Make sure you go check out the other episode series I've done. There are so many of them and they're so amazing and you can always rewatch them if you've already watched them. They're just as good the second time. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye!